A lot is happening in the vast world outside our planet, and we cannot see, hear, or feel any of it without special equipment. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by to comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. Thanks to NASA, we've learned so much about outer space and even seen what it's like through the videos and photos that NASA has shared with the public. A NASA experiment is underway that is sort of like Big Brother meets The Martian. The goal is to see what life could be like for the first humans to make the trip. Recently, a whistleblower leaked several photos of space that NASA did not share with the public, and it makes you wonder, why were certain photos hidden from the public? Also, what hidden information is contained in these photos? Join us in this video as we unravel the mystery of the space images by astronauts just leaked by a NASA whistleblower. For a long time, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has been our primary source for any information on outer space. NASA was created in 1958 to oversee space exploration in the U.S. You can be justly proud of the fact that your past achievements have made NACA the choice of all governmental agencies. Little did we know that it would one day become the pioneer of space exploration in the world. While NASA may seem like a one-goal organization, the agency actually carries diverse responsibilities. From using space probes and telescopes like James Webb to scan the cosmos to controlling the several satellites that orbit the Earth, it's all a part of NASA's grand plan to gather information about the vast world of space and beyond. Plus, NASA periodically sends astronauts to outer space to gather live, hands-on data. The beautiful thing about this agency is that it shares what it learns. Thanks to NASA, we know of amazing stars like the Betelgeuse and complex space phenomena like black holes and quasars. But could there be more than the agency is sharing with the public? Perhaps some classified information that they consider too sensitive for the general public or other nations. Well, a whistleblower has just confirmed that there is. It turns out that not every piece of information is shared with the public after all. This isn't surprising at all, as government agencies always have some information they consider classified. But it's the universe we are discussing here, and I'm sure you'll agree that we all deserve to know what's going on. Well. Thanks to these new leaked images taken by some astronauts, we can now know some hidden things and learn previously unknown facts about space and extraterrestrials. One of the milestone achievements in space exploration was the Apollo 11 mission, when man first landed on the moon. As Neil Armstrong rightly put it, this was one small step for man, but one giant leap for mankind. It was a remarkable moment that spread great excitement worldwide, putting NASA on the map as the world's leading space exploratory agency. But certain photos taken during the Apollo mission were kept classified, and the astronaut Neil Armstrong carried some secrets to his grave. You see, during the Apollo mission, the observers on Earth couldn't communicate with the astronauts on the moon at a point, and there seemed to be some urgent information Neil Armstrong wanted to pass across to the team. Communication systems were failing, and the computer looked like it would quit at any second, leaving the astronauts stranded. Try as they could, the control tower couldn't establish a sound and secure link to the astronauts. As the radio connection kept fading in and out, especially when the humans were about to touch down on the moon. 600 million people around the world were either watching or listening on radio and TV as it happened is a measure of the impact. Despite these setbacks, the astronauts successfully landed on the moon. When the men landed, they realized another problem. They had landed at the wrong spot. You see, before NASA finally took the bold step to send humans to the moon, the agency ran several simulations. These simulations helped Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin prepare for features like gravity, meteors, and the moon's surface. In these test runs, the simulated moon surface was smooth, so the men expected to land on a smooth surface on the moon. Calculations had been made to ensure they landed at the right spot, but when Armstrong and Aldrin landed, instead of a smooth gray landscape, they saw a huge crater field with several large boulders flying around. Armstrong took images of the landscape while he searched for a smooth spot to plant the American flag. You'll agree that some of the most popular photos from Apollo 11 are the ones showing the United States flag standing on the moon and Neil Armstrong standing next to it. These photos show the smooth part of the moon, but that's not all there is to see. 
photos of the dark side of the moon, filled with craters, weren't shared. The two men admitted once that they went to a different part of the moon to take pictures of some interesting bedrock on its surface. Much later, these images were released, and the unusual bedrock was said to be caused by tectonic activities on the moon. But there's something even more shocking that Neil Armstrong didn't share at all. The astronaut took some artifacts from the mission and kept them in a small purse. Armstrong never revealed this to anybody, not even his wife. This bag of artifacts was discovered only after Armstrong's death. What was in that bag? What was so important that Neil Armstrong had to hide from the world for 40 years? The only information we have so far is that it contains some space artifacts. There are no specifics to its actual contents. The Apollo 11 mission isn't the only NASA mission with images that were kept secret. Other recently leaked pictures that are sparking controversies include those from Mars. Top on this list is the Martian Stonehenge. A Stonehenge is a collection of huge stones arranged in a unique circular pattern, and they are present in a number of places on Earth. These things have always been shrouded in mystery, as no one knows who built them or what they were used for. Some theories state that they are some sort of ancient clock or calendar. Well, before now, everyone thought that Stonehenges existed only on Earth until the leaked images from Mars proved us wrong. Here, you can see what the rover captured on Mars, a replica of the Stonehenges found on Earth. It makes you wonder how these got here and who built them. This hints at the possibility of extraterrestrial life forms on Mars. It also hints that these beings may be responsible for the Stonehenges on Earth. But even more baffling, this picture has been in the NASA archives for decades, as far back as the 1970s, but NASA never disclosed it. It was some UFO investigators that finally brought this discovery to public light. Stuff like these makes many people believe that NASA has many more concrete documentaries of alien sightings that it's not sharing with the public. As you would expect, NASA scientists quickly dismissed the Mars Stonehenge when conspiracies began to fly about. According to these scientists, we're not seeing what we think we are seeing. It's just our brains playing tricks on us. But this doesn't seem to be the case here because apart from the Martian Stonehenges, there are also leaked photos of Martian pyramids. NASA's Curiosity rover captured images of the pyramids while scanning the surface of the Red Planet. The Curiosity rover is a car-sized rover with the sole purpose of exploring Mars, precisely the Gale Crater on the surface of Mars. The rover is part of NASA's Mars Space Laboratory mission and was launched on November 26, 2011. On August 6, 2012, it landed inside the Gale Crater on Mars. The primary goal of this space robot was to investigate the climate on Mars and its geology. Initially, it was supposed to be a two-year mission, but the rover exceeded its expected lifetime. By August 2017, this robot was still working, making it five years spent on Mars. As of 2023, this robot is still active, making it a total of 10 years since it landed on Mars. The Curiosity rover is another groundbreaking achievement for NASA, and the National Aeronautic Association awarded the team behind it a trophy in May 2013. We've learned more about Mars than we ever thought possible thanks to Curiosity, perhaps too much for NASA to share. You see, one of the images captured by the Curiosity rover shows some structures on Mars's surface that look just like our Egyptian pyramids here on Earth. They're even clustered together, just like ours. Could they really be a replica of the Great Pyramids of Egypt? Or are our minds playing tricks on us, as NASA scientists would say? Again, just like with the Mars Stonehenge, NASA didn't say much about this discovery. They simply waved it aside. However, it still trended widely thanks to conspiracy theorists. Many people obsessed with extraterrestrials wouldn't let this image slip by ever since it came to light. To them, this image is substantial proof that aliens had a hand in constructing our magnificent Egyptian pyramids. However, to NASA, the similarity is just a coincidence. NASA believes these are nothing but rocky structures that were weathered by wind forces over time and took the shape of pyramids. This theory sure sounds plausible, especially when you consider the fact that the sizes are not the same. Our Egyptian pyramids are as large as football stadiums, but these ones on Mars look more like baby pyramids. But two things that seem to add up are the precision in the edges and the clustering. These points are precisely why some alien fanatics are obsessed with this image. So far, we've not seen any aliens on Mars, at least none that NASA has told us about. Which begs the question, 
Who made these pyramids on Mars? If aliens aren't on Mars to do it, then it could be the work of humans. But we haven't created any human settlements on Mars yet, so this leaves us with the assumption that there is some kind of intelligent astrobiological being on the planet that may be responsible for things like these. While this may sound far-fetched, it's actually a plausible theory strengthened by another image that the NASA whistleblower leaked. This next image is quite intriguing. It shows what appears to be the silhouette of a man operating the Curiosity rover on Mars. Conspiracy theorists have named it the Rover Mechanic. Bear in mind that no such person exists, at least not by NASA records. So how do you explain this human-like figure that seems to be handling the rover in this photo? The figure very much appears to be a human with an oxygen tank and mask. Could it be an astronaut forgotten on Mars or a hidden human settlement we haven't been informed of yet? There's also the question of whether or not this person, if he exists, is responsible for the Curiosity rover being in operation for 10 years when initial calculations estimated it would only last for two years. This picture raises suspicion about NASA. But wait, there's more. Another shocking image from our neighboring red planet is this one that shows what looks like a doorway into Mars. You'd agree we've never seen aliens on this planet. But over the years, a few people have predicted the possibility of aliens living underground. What if this is why we've never actually seen them? Scientists have done quite a number of research in this regard, because Mars doesn't seem livable on the surface for many reasons. You see, the surface of this planet is cold and dry. Plus, the radiation level there is much worse, so scientists consider it to be uninhabitable. Also, there is hardly any water on the surface to sustain biological life forms. And this explains why Mars always seems so lifeless, like a red wilderness or barren land. The subsurface, however, is another story. Scientists have hypothesized the subsurface of Mars to be a viable, habitable environment since it is pretty much protected from harsh surface conditions. In fact, a good number of the scientific community believe that Martians, if they exist, live underground. Scientists deduce that groundwater is readily available below the surface so living things can thrive. And so this image seems to bring life to the underground Martian theory once more, as we see what appears to be a door leading to the undergrounds. Note that this feature was spotted during a live stream from the Curiosity rover. Some eagle-eyed folks spotted the door-like feature and made a snapshot, zooming in for a clearer view. Since then, these photos have become a source of speculation in the sci-fi and alien conspiracy community, and yet NASA takes it lightly. The agency has refused to probe further into this creepy feature, and it just makes you wonder why. And so, that being said, we know nothing about this doorway. Since NASA has refused to investigate further, no one knows if it's actually a door or just another oddly shaped surface bedrock. All we know is that this discovery was made while the rover was taking a tour of the eastern cliffs of Mars. But surely, this doesn't look like a natural feature. It looks more like something intentionally carved. The only controversy, however, is its size. The estimated measurements of this structure are 12 inches in height and 16 in width. If it's really a doorway, it's too small to fit. But then again, most of our knowledge of aliens from science fiction depicts them as small and oddly shaped. So, the underground Martian conspiracy theory may still be right. However, NASA scientists don't think so. According to them, these types of structures are very common in several spots on the Red Planet so there's no need to fret over them. This is the primary reason they've refused to investigate it further. However, there is still another shocking photo from Mars. For a while now, Mars has been the focus of organizations like SpaceX, as many scientists believe that the Red Planet is the only one in our solar system where we can survive outside Earth. In fact, most of the general public now feels that Mars is our next safe haven. But this photo seems to suggest otherwise. It's the leaked photo of a meteorite's impact on Mars. Yes, you heard right. A meteorite crashed into this planet, and they've been keeping it under wraps so it won't ruin the notion that Mars is our next home if Earth fails. You can see how big the crater is, proving it wasn't a small asteroid that hit, but a large one. Earth has never conceded such a hit from a massive asteroid before, although asteroid impacts commonly breach the Earth's atmosphere at least once every 100 years or so. The last event we've had so far was the one that occurred in Russia on February 15, 2013, when a relatively small meteor traveling at high speed made an impact on Russian soil, causing a massive sonic boom and blast wave to ripple throughout the entire country. The asteroid was named the Chelyabinsk meteor. 
It measured 59 feet in diameter and weighed 10,000 tons. It penetrated the atmosphere over the southern region of Russia. Witnesses claimed that the light from the meteor outshone the sun. Even though it was clear daylight, it was so bright that the whole country could see it. Further analysis showed that this rock entered the atmosphere at a speed of 19 kilometers per second and at an angle of 18 degrees. It was a pretty terrible day for Russia, as pieces of shattered glass injured thousands of people and over 7,200 buildings were damaged from the following shockwave. This was, in fact, a small meteor. How, then, would we survive a full-sized meteor impact which, from all indications, is likely to happen on Mars? It's quite understandable why NASA would want to keep images like these under wraps. If Mars is truly habitable, how do they explain this meteor impact? Surely it raises a lot of questions. Even the building-sized meteor that invaded the Russian atmosphere caused quite an issue for NASA because, according to them, the planet was well fortified to prevent things like that from happening unexpectedly. If you're a lover of stars, you'd love this other discovery leaked to the public. It's a somewhat creepy photo of a dying star that was kept under wraps initially. The star in question is the C.W. Leonis. The C.W. Leonis is a carbon star first discovered in 1969. It is unique because it is covered in a huge cloud of gas and dust. However, this star is on the verge of dying and scientists have been observing it extensively for the past two decades. It turns out that this star is dying at an accelerated rate and will go kaboom anytime soon. Now we have leaked images of it and they sure look unsettling. You can see from this picture that the CW Leonis is weaving a giant web of dust around itself. No one knows why this is happening and it's quite odd. This web-like dust cloud makes the C.W. Leonis appear dangerous, like it could suck in anything in its surroundings or take them out with a massive radius blast. Just so you know, this star is only 310 light-years away from our planet. Scientists are not quite sure of the safe distance for supernovas yet, but some estimate it has to be at least 300 light-years away for the effects felt on the Earth to be minimal or non-damaging. But you see, there's no guarantee this star will play by the rules. It's dying quickly, has a weird future, and who knows if it has a weird blast radius too. However, another thing to remember about this star is that it is a carbon star. This unique feature has made it a point of particular interest for NASA scientists, as it is the closest carbon star to Earth. We don't know how soon it will blow up, but surely one way or another, we expect to feel some impact. Overall, these leaked images from the whistleblower have given us a lot to worry about and left us with doubts about how well we should trust NASA. But still, it doesn't change the fact that NASA has been instrumental in our journey so far in space exploration. And so, the agency remains our safest bet to learn more about the cosmos and protect ourselves from whatever threats arise from it. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen for more quality content like this one.